Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is peace. Be still. Beloved family, our text says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6-7 I remember growing up in the Bahamas when Hurricane David hit our islands and we were sheltered in place in our homes. The storm was fierce for a few days, but then the eye passed over. We all went outside and played amongst the damaged trees, and I distinctly remember thinking how peaceful it was. I thought the storm was over, but my mother warned us that this was only the eye of the storm. The second wave of devastation and strong winds were coming in the tear. I wondered how can a destructive storm have peace in the middle of it? As an adult, I later learned that peace is not the absence of the storm, but the calm in the middle of the storm. And so it is with life. I've learned that peace is not the absence of trials, troubles, and tests within the storms of life, but it is being calm in the middle of the trials, troubles, and tests of life. Oh, that's a good word. Let that settle in your spirit today. And then the words of Christ Jesus clarifies how we can be calm in the middle of trouble. He says, but the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. John 14, 26 to 27. So we don't have to let our hearts be troubled, even though trouble will come. Why? Because the Holy Spirit will give us peace that surpasses all understanding, both ours and theirs. They, your haters, won't understand how you can go through struggles and still smile, how you can go through trials and still respond excellent when asked how you are doing. It's because the wonderful counselor, everlasting father, mighty God, and prince of peace is in control. When Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, because King Darius issued a decree that anyone who petitions any god or man except the king for 30 days will be cast into the lion's den. There were others in the land that set a trap for Daniel and plotted against him for the king to issue the decree. And once the king issued the decree or law in the land, it cannot be broken. Now we understand that God's laws, precepts, and decrees, even the words that Jesus speaks as king, is law and cannot be broken. All the promises of God are his law. All the word of God is his law. And all the commandments of God is his law. When it was found that Daniel did not obey the law of King Darius, but only the king of kings, he was troubled to order Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den because he favored Daniel. But the Bible says he fasted that night and refused to be entertained with the thought that the lions may devour Daniel through the night. When he arose, he rushed to Daniel. When he arose early in the morning, he rushed to the den calling for Daniel. He said, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God delivered you? Daniel says, O king, my God sent his angels and shut the lion's mouth so that they have not hurt me because I was found innocent before him. And also, O king, I have done no wrong before you. Now the king was exceedingly glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no injury whatever was found on him, because he believed in his God. 
Daniel 6, 20 to 23. Peace in the middle of the crisis. It is the calm from the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life. I remember a tense situation that occurred in my life a few years ago that could have easily escalated, but the Holy Spirit's presence calmed everyone in the room. We don't know what peace is until there is a storm. When King Jesus got in the boat, there were storms all around, and a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat against the boat so that it was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. But he said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Mark 4, 37 to 40. A great calm. This is my prayer for us today, family, that we experience a great calm of peace in the middle of the storms in our life. Peace, be still. Say this to every situation that is trying to turn into a storm in your life. Peace, be still and believe that God will cause a great calm and peace in the midst of the storm. Much love.